Hey, hey, hit hit the like button. Hey, I wanna know if y'all really fuck with me, man. Hey, hit the like button, share this video, and drop a snowman down in the comments. Over back over that way we got we got SeaWorld. I passed by it coming in. <sighs> a lot of nice hotels, a lot of nice. I don't know if y'all can see them too good. A lot of nice stuff out here, man. I'm in Orlando. See the palm trees. I tell you what, they need to, they need to get those roads fixed in Orlando because there's a lot of construction going on down there and it was terrible. I'm at the job site where I'm dropping off at. About to go ahead and take one, two, three. I'm gonna go ahead and take uh I'm gonna take three of these straps off. Take three of them off. I'm thinking, but I don't know where to turn around at. I'm thinking that they're gonna make me back in right here. That's what I'm thinking. No trespassing, danger, construction, area, keep out. You know, I'm thinking they're gonna back me in right here. That's the only way I see to get out. Cause if I pull straight in, I gotta do a blind side back to get out right there. I could do it, but like the old school truckers say, the best way to back is not to back. So I would much rather pull straight up, back in right there and head back out. So I'm gonna just stay right here for the night. And just uh, see these guys first thing in the morning. Thugging out the 305, and you watching Flatbed Gang. Let's get it. She wanna ride the Rover. Told her the Uber was closer. Bitch, you paid. My dog got no heart, but fucking unpaid. Still the same nigga for minimum wage. They trying to keep up. They jacking the paid. Can't believe you tried it, bitch. You crazy. Hey man, shout out my. Shout out my female followers I just picked up. Ladybug. Ladybug Trucker. Jamaica Green. 
Shout out my new female followers, man. Salute y'all. Hey, hey, special shout out from my dog, 305 Payroll down there in Miami. <laughs> This is what I picked up yesterday. <laughs> I just made a video with these last week. So, I didn't make another video. But right now, I'm about to leave the house. So we're doing a load check. Pre-trip inspection. Load check. Taking this load up to Fredericks, no, yeah, Fredericksburg, Virginia. Fredericksburg, Virginia. Don't got no heart, but fuck it, I'm paid. Whew. One more on this side, then we got two on the other side. got to keep an eye on these slinkies because these straps will loosen up still pretty tight but not as tight as they could be Ugh, that one's tight that's the one going across the bottom that one right there that motherfucker tight butterfly strap on the top now we got one more up here one more right here and another butterfly up there we got one click on that one let me see about this one two clicks hey this load you see how easy that load check was one hand one hand load check. <sighs> About to hit the road. According to Google Maps, Google Maps, not the truck GPS, it is 211 miles. That's what Google Maps is. All I know, I do know, it's exit 118 on uh, 95 North. Exit 118. If y'all are familiar with the with the um, Virginia area on 95, you will know that exit 104 on 95 is called Ruthers Ruthers Glen, Virginia. I know a lot of y'all probably know that Ruthers Glen is 104. Then you got uh, exit 89. You got a I want to say it's a TA. Yeah, TA Richmond exit 89. Then you go up a little further. Not sure if it's 92. You got another TA, TA Ashland. But exit, but I'm getting off on 118. So I ain't gonna be far from Ruthers Glen. If I need to need to find somewhere to park, wait for a load or whatever. Ride right back down the road, get the load. Y'all know how it is, man. What was I about to say? Something, something else I was about to say. Hell, I can't remember. It'll come back to me. If it was something important. It'll come back to me. <sighs> oh, well. <laughs> i catch y'all later.
I knew that stoplight was gonna turn red. That's why I started putting on my Jake brake. Way back there. I knew it was gonna turn red. And old sheriff come peeking right out. Whew. 1.7 miles away. I already got a reload too. I'm going right back to North Carolina, so I'll be home tonight. I've been home, what's, today is Thursday. I've been home every night this week, except for, what, was the, what night was that? When I stayed in Orlando. Was that Tuesday? Tuesday night, I believe. Yeah, but yesterday was Wednesday. Yeah, I stayed in Orlando Tuesday night. Pretty good week. load drops off then it's loaded I'm about to pick up it's a preload picking it up at the terminal it's going to Thomasville North Carolina got to be there at 11 o'clock tomorrow morning that's uh that's like I want to say like an hour 45 minutes from the house so I'll, I'll be back home again today exit 89 that TA I was telling you about they got Popeyes there. I'm gonna stop there, get get a chicken sandwich, take one back home to my girl too. Cause she already she know the same area. She know if I'm running in this area, she know I'm coming back home. So she already told me grab her a chicken sandwich. So I stop and grab that on the way to Emporia. Today's Thursday. I don't know if there was anybody in orientation this week. I didn't see nobody when I was there on uh, Monday. Shout out to new drivers. If you did get a truck in it for you. Two of my other buddies, both of them did uh, orientation at Hornady. At Hornady this week. They get their trucks today. Two of them. Shout out my, my Hornady family. Y'all know, y'all know, if y'all don't know, I used to work at Hornady for about 30 days until I left the color PNS. Let me find this gate. Looking at the notes, saying something about a gate code. Oh, that's an apartment complex right there. Right by, this is a CMC Rebar, Fredericksburg. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Yeah, they built a damn apartment complex over there. Nice apartments too. Look like a fire. That's the fire department on my left. I didn't know what it was at first. Here we go. First time coming here. Home of the truth. Look like there ain't nothing back here. There it is, CMC. Deliveries make a right. Do this building up like a portable building. Please use main entrance to register an office. Got some CMC freight lines out here. I go this way. I need to go back on the yep. street. Yep. 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 Turn around like that. Just stay hard to your left. Do like you're going to back into the door. Yeah. And then just come right back out. Then if not, man, you'll never back out of that fucking road with the We'll go out this gate, make a uh, right. Go up to the next gate, make a right. And when you 
go in the gate, go all the way down and make a make a right and drive straight and that's what they have most. Alright. Gotcha. <laughs> Alright man, appreciate it. seen a sign that said deliveries. Clearly said deliveries. <laughs> got to come up with content this stuff is just ordinary ordinary flatbed life it's ordinary stuff I should be able to swing that I'm already lost with the directions the guy gave me all I know go back on the street oh there he is How far is the gate from once I'm Like as soon as you turn, you'll see it down there. Okay. Like I said, when you go in the gate, go all the way in, and then make a, uh, make a right and just pull down, like kind of down in the bottom or so, and they'll tell you, they usually do it like right there. Okay. All right, thank you. Clearly says deliveries. Clearly says deliveries. So now I gotta swing wide to get out here. Clearly says deliveries. Put a sign up back there that says "Call Deliveries Next Gate." That'll make it a whole lot simpler. Cause I bet you I'm not the only person to, to do that. What I just did. Not too difficult. He made it seem more difficult than what it is. Hey, I can't make this stuff up, man. I can't make it up. I already see the calls that he was talking about. He said, I'll see the rest of the calls. I already see them. I can't make this stuff up, man. I can't make it up. I'm going to just pull straight up right here. In the middle, where they can get that forklift on both sides. 
if they were to unload me right here, I'm not sure. They might tell me to move somewhere else. Hey, y'all, y'all love, y'all love my content. Do y'all love my content, man? I can't make this stuff up. I can't make it up. Barber shops open tomorrow. I've been getting haircuts anyway, but I just called my barber and asked him was he taking appointments tomorrow. He said, Nah, he's not taking appointments. First come, first serve. But they open at five o'clock tomorrow. He's like, Yeah, you better get there early. So I'm like, Yeah, I'll be there. I'll be waiting in the parking lot because after I drop that load off tomorrow at eleven o'clock. It only takes me uh probably about I should be back home by like two o'clock tomorrow, tomorrow afternoon. So as soon as I get home, take a shower, wash my hair, put some conditioner in it, get it all nice and soft, and I'm gonna go to the barber shop. But right now, I'm about to take these damn straps off. And hopefully I'm in the right spot now. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. All kind of random shit out here. I hauled some of that stuff a couple weeks ago with the bags.
fried chicken sandwich. Hey, right, y'all know how we do. Y'all know how we do, man. We gotta have that chicken sandwich. Especially after a day of hard work. <clears throat> damn, I caught the damn yellow light. Hope it don't take too long. Grab this sandwich and we're gonna ride on down to the terminal. Exit 17 on 95 if you want to know. Going down 95, get off on exit 17, make a left, ride that, ride straight down to the terminal. The terminal building right here. Yeah, you ride that about, about two miles, terminal building right side. Transportation. Promised land. I gotta go to the mailbox. Find out what trailer I gotta pick up.
trailer number. 161102. 161102. Let's find this trailer. It'd be nice if it was this one right in front of me. That's 161046. 161605. I knew it. I gotta get this one way over here. But it's all good because I can back in and back that thing in and transfer my this right over to the other side. Y'all see all these trucks out here ready for y'all. Ready for your new drivers. I would have got down right in front of me. I could have just pulled up right there, dropped mine, and wouldn't even have the back end. I ain't got no problem with backing in, but the best way to back is not to back. I think I said that one time before. Best way to back is not to back. It should be good. Hey, flatbed gang, man. That's how we do it. Flatbed gang. Dropping hook time. hook the airlines up and pull it out that damn wood so I have some room. Might pull it out there in the middle. Get out this mud. First hook the damn airlines up. is always the worst spot on these preloads because they don't they don't put the bungees on it right 
But they did pretty good on this one. Let's check the front. Nothing worse, nothing worse than picking up a preload and getting down the highway and that motherfucker start coming out, that damn flap start coming out on your ass. Or start ballooning up. That's the worst feeling in the world. The drivers be on the CB hollering at you. Hey, your flap's out. <laughs> That's the worst feeling in the world. Yeah, we can tighten it up a little more. I'm gonna tighten it up a little more. Cause I ain't about to, I ain't riding down the road like that. That damn thing get the ballooning out. All you gotta do is add about, about four bungees. Don't take much. I'd rather do it now than do it on the side of the road. Cause once I leave here, I'm heading straight to the house. I told my girl I'd be there, be there about eight o'clock. Why so much up here? Anything to hold that thing close. Let's do that one right there. Oh, this thing closed up. This one put a bungee right here too. This motherfucker, but they fucked it up. Look. Yeah, y'all definitely fucked this one up. Must have been a rookie. Must have been a rookie that taught this one. Had to be. Had to have been a rookie. Want no professional. Want no master topper. I'll tell you that. Uh, man. I'm gonna reach that damn thing. that did this one. Uh, Definitely want no professional. It was 
with somebody, but it won't look professional. This one ain't up to my standards. I know from experience, <laughs> you get down, cause I done did it. I done picked up preloads and rolled out with them. Like, yeah, it's good. I done did it. And got down the road, had to pull over. Somebody was hollering at me. Hey, PNS, your flaps out. You be like, then you look out the window, you be like, damn. Whole damn flat be out, especially at the back. Look like a damn Superman cape. Yeah, we're gonna get you right, baby. Sometimes you'll pick up a preload though. Hey, it'd be lovely. Won't be nothing wrong with it. Every once in a while you get one, it's messed up. This one ain't too bad. Just gotta fix that flap. Other than that, it's good though. I'm just talking shit. Straps tight as hell. Whew. Straps good. We just gotta put a little couple bungees on here. Nah, not even many. Just enough. Especially in the spots where the strap ain't at. Yeah, it's raining. It's raining too. I need I need all the clear view I can get. I don't need no kind of obstructions. I need a clear view. Let's go ahead and fix the back while I'm back here. Tell you what, somebody didn't give I done found about five bungees on the ground, that's good. This one ain't too good, but it'll work for what I need it for. Fuck it, that one ain't no damn good. Need another bungee. Oh no, nah, I got two right here. Two bungees can easily turn to three if you do it like this. Turn two bungees into three with that little trick. I need another bungee. Might be good with this one. Stretch you over here, baby. Whew. I gave that bungee all it could take. Back's good. Back's good. Should have came up off that tire. I'll crank up in a minute, see if it pumps up.
a lumber truck. That's all good. What time is it? 5.44? Yeah, I told my girl 8 o'clock. I'm only like two hours from the house. So I'll be leaving from here by 6. Get it in the hole, D. And I got some hair around it. That's what my uncle used to tell me. And I got some hair around it, nephew. Yeah. Almost finished. Almost finished. We're about to hit the road. show y'all something i just looked at it a while ago you see that open area i looked at it and if you see the strap is under the top so i was wondering what was right there yeah the strap is under the top it's a little small small spot My buddy over there at Hornady that just got hired. Got two buddies over there. Uh, Jimmy Berry, another guy named Nolan. Nolan hit me up on Instagram last night and was telling me about his truck. Mike Martin. What's up, Mike Martin? I just seen your notification. What you talking about, buddy? Let me read it real quick. Shout out my dog, Mike Martin. Two inch straps, oh yeah. I put a stupid ass post up there on a uh, flatbed gang group and asked what to use to secure slinkies. I said, what do you use, chains or uh, chains or straps? And he just replied back, two inch straps. There were some funny comments up there. Somebody told me to use pink. They said, use pink two inch straps. Somebody else said, they, they, they just sit on the trailer by themselves and don't need no securement. Somebody once, somebody else told me to use rope. Yeah, just having a little bit of fun. So hey man, make sure y'all join in on the fun. Flatbed Gang Facebook group. I'm about to crank the truck up. And see if that trailer gonna power up. Get up off that, let that strap get off that tire. I really didn't leave it running too long a while ago. Come on, baby, get up on that tire. Yeah, it's coming up. Yeah. See that? Slowly coming up. I made that mistake before. I made that mistake and drove on the damn tire. Got a lot of tread on these tires. Look like a damn, like a damn drive tire right there. Yeah, get your ass up off of there. Let me check the other side while I'm over here. You heard it creaking? It's, it's, it's pumping up. Still creaking. 
Make sure I didn't leave nothing on that other trailer. Yeah, a while ago, it was all the way on the damn tire. Y'all want me to walk over here and show y'all these trucks before I leave? Just for y'all, I'm gonna show y'all these trucks. We got a Freightliner, another Freightliner, MTB. Over here we got an old classic T600 classic vehicle with a damn screen on a damn grill I don't, I don't know if that's for the bugs I don't know that's that damn super trucker shit oh classic oh the door's unlocked oh man I've never been inside one of these man dog I don't know how many speeds this thing is. Got a little raggedy radio right there. Man, I've never been inside one of these. Damn, that's a small sleeper. They don't got no room in here. Damn. Hey, man. Y'all better give me some thanks. I'm showing y'all the classic vehicle. I'm about to get on Snapchat real quick. This thing is raggedy. I always wanted to get inside this truck. I never did it. Matter of fact, I'm gonna make this picture the damn cover photo for this for this video. Y'all better thank hey thank you boy man. Thank you boy for giving y'all a tour of a classic T600. Man, that thing is raggly. Wake up.